Hello again my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Heather and this is Honest Homemaking and we are getting ready for some honest homemaking, let me tell you. Uh, but first, I wanted to say just a couple quick things. Um, number one, you know that I'm completely disorganized. So I'm working on trying to come up with a system that works for me. If you look at my kitchen, you will see that it is already clean. It's three o'clock in the afternoon and I spent no more than 10 minutes on my kitchen today, which is a rarity for me. Usually when I wake up in the morning, all the dishes are everywhere from dinner last night, but that is not the case today because I have been working on creating myself a morning routine. I'm gonna show you just like a very quick, tiny little peek at that and then we're gonna get down to business for the day. So um, this is my planner. Um, I'm not very good at using it. I'm just now filling it in, but I will be, you know, some honesty. Okay, I had one day filled in, a couple days filled in. Um, okay, so see, I've actually been filling it in a little more than usual, but let's go back to September. There's one where I put in a very few, look, you're going to see that most of this planner is empty. So um, I've been working on using my planner more often. Um, yeah, October was mostly busy. Anyway, so we're about to start November, but this is what's been helping me. This is, my handwriting is atrocious, so I'm sorry guys, but this is my morning routine that I made for myself. Um, there are a few things that I need to tweak about it, but for the most part, it is working for us because it has not, we, it's been a while since things have been clean for more than five minutes. Also, check this out. We have a napping baby. All right, so I've like rambled for five minutes already, but let's get down to business. I asked Chris to build me a shelf in the cabinet right here beside my dishwasher. The lighting hasn't adjusted yet, so um, you may not be able to see it very well. You guys, it's, you know how people have a junk drawer? Well, we have a junk cabinet, and by we, I mean me. Nobody gets in there except for me. And I'm, I'm embarrassed to show it to you. But I pride myself on being honest and real here, so I'm gonna show it to you. And it's not pretty, so. Oh, you guys. So this is what the cabinet beside my dishwasher looks like. Um, it's not always this bad. Uh, things usually aren't like tipped upside down. Uh, I'm not sure how that happened. I probably needed a trash bag and just flipped it. So anyway, I'm going to organize this and Chris is going to build me just a plywood shelf across the top because I think that will help us a lot. So he will be home shortly. To start working on this and he can't put a shelf in there if it looks like that so I'm gonna take everything out throw away what we don't need um, and see what we're gonna keep and then we'll go from there Don't worry, I locked it. You can't spray it. You 
helping. You're such a good helper. Thank you so much for your help. Yeah, get it, Leo. Get it, Leo. You helping, Mama? Oh, yeah, you're going to put some on the floor for me? Thank you. So, as you've seen, I've had a little bit of help. But everything is cleaned out and wiped down. Um, I'm now, this is my pile of stuff that came out of there. Um, and this is all the stuff that I'm going to try to get back in there. But I'm just going to try to do it neatly and organized. Um, Uh-oh. So, I've got it cleaned out. And now I need to get Leo some Paw Patrol. And... I'm going to wipe down my appliances and stuff that are in. I'm going to wipe down my appliances that I store in there because they are looking a little grungy. And then I'm going to get some bins and see what works. So I'm making dinner and Chris is building my shelf. And let's check on his progress. How's it going, Chris? It's going wonderful. I have a helper. He's doing a great job. <laughs> is he helping you? Yes. Yeah. It's going well? Yeah. You said take about an hour? Two and a half maybe now. <laughs> but he's doing good. He's having he's a good time. He's also so. spilled Sprite all over his shirt. And, you know, you're wondering. Okay, so of course we have Leo over here helping because he's the best helpy helper. And this is what we have. I don't really know if we'll even need the light. Okay, so I just stacked an appliance back in there and then I put my like takeout, not takeout, throw away disposable. Bye -bye. Oh, you want the light. My disposable plates for Thanksgiving. And I have so much more room. Oh, oh a light. I was able to put in all the parts for our blender. They used to go under the sink. So now I have so much more room under the sink. And then up here on my shelf, I just put the tray with our baggies and trash bags and things like that. Back there we have like massive contractor bags that we don't use very often. And then I just have my dish packs, white trash bags. So while it may not be the most organized. A I mean, a B. Maybe somebody can give me some tips on how to better organize this. But I love it so much. It has become so functional, and you no longer have to dig for trash bags, which is like the best thing ever because you might hear Zach on the Xbox. But when you're taking out the trash, I mean, maybe not you, but I'm already irritated enough that I have to take out the trash in the first place. So then if I have to dig to get a trash bag, that just compounds the stress. So that is my organized junk cabinet. I need a better miscellaneous cabinet. Anyway, so that's all I have for you guys today. I will see you guys next time. Hopefully that will be on Thursday because I seem to have a little bit of a schedule. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye.